Oh, it's Jerry Gell from Gell Plumbing and Heating in Bedford, Ohio again. And next up on our discussion of air vents is the Moat Bullet Vent. And <laughs> you can see this thing is no little air vent. This thing is big. And guess what, folks? This thing is made out of cast iron. And you drop, you taking this off the pipe and you drop this on your toe, you will know it. And uh, <laughs> you may be on your way to the doctor, too. Uh, this thing's got to weigh five pounds. Okay, I got one that I took apart. And this is the base. You'd see it sitting something like this up in the piping. Okay, it's so big it barely fits in the screen. Um, and what you have in there is kind of basically, there you go, that's it. That's all there is for the air vent. And Again, it's another one kind of like the Hoffman 75. It uses a thermostatic capsule. It has a built-in peg, so there's no ball at the top. It's actually just a, a post built in. It has the concave bottom to it that will dimple out. I can get the right angle here. It'll dimple out like a pickle jar lid when you open it once the steam vaporizes the volatile liquid that's in here. And once it when it dimples out, it'll drive itself off this diffuser plate. And when it drives itself off the diffuser plate, it will go into the socket. Let me see if I can illuminate that socket down here with a flashlight for you. Um, basically, it's just a concave socket down at the bottom. And you can see these guides around right here. Just uh, cast in guides that keep the cylinder in alignment as it moves up and down. And there's nothing much to this main vent, which is why they lasted so many years. It's just a capsule with a volatile liquid, and we're not we're not talking full. We're talking a little bit. And when it would when the steam would get near it, it would about 180 degrees or so. It would flash into vapor and in essence into steam inside of here and dimple out the bottom because that expanded pressure has to go somewhere so it dimples the bottom out, drives the capsule up into the air and shuts off the air vent. And now the interesting thing with these Moat vents is this cap. This vent could be either a regular atmospheric air vent, or which it should be today, or with the coal boiler it could also have been a vacuum vent. And what you would find if it was a vacuum vent was you'd unscrew this top, and underneath here was just a flat disc. And the flat disc sat in here, and the pressure would lift it up. Picture just a little circle of sheet metal. Would lift it up, let the air out, but the air couldn't come back in because when a system would drop into a vacuum as the steam collapsed, the flat disc would get sucked down onto the opening here. And that was how they, this one vent could be either a vacuum vent or a regular vent, depending on whether or not that disc is in here. Now, pretty much nobody's running coal in this area anymore. That disc should be removed on all these air vents. Um, and that is what we call the Moat Bullet Vent.